so uh, we've just been trying to get in this is we might get collars for doing this but we've just been trying to get in that building guys look at that building you see why i love this torch now look at those art trails yeah look they have been getting in look because there's some graffiti up there but unfortunately can't get in we've been all the way around it guys and uh, frustratingly I haven't even managed to get into the uh, the grounds and get right up to it we even got up into chimney all there but there's no way of getting in no way of getting in and it's a shame because this is the last remaining part of the what was a brewery and uh, as you can see this building is going off we're around houses and stuff um, this will be going down soon it's a shame because Rob likes a drink and all yeah Rob likes his drink could have got a free beer but unfortunately would have been a wicked building but it's a no-go back in on Kimberley Brewery was once the oldest brewery in Nottinghamshire with a narrative that dated back to 1832. Originally it was two separate adjacent breweries, Ardis Brewery and Hanson's Brewery. Both of these merged in 1913 and it became Ardis and Hanson's Brewery. Sadly, brewing ceased in 2006. Some beautiful stonework there guys. Yeah, as you can see, new homes. Hey, no. Not very modern. These are all part of it, but these have been modernised. It was deemed fitting to turn into homes. Same as all these here. It's a shame. But I didn't get into all this lot when you could get in it. Right, back in on guys. There should be guys. We've now crossed over the road from the brewery and are walking his way down to Kimberley Bridge, which is also known as Midland Railway Bridge 13. It's a three arch brick structure that was built in 1879 to span a deep cutting through which ran the Benley and Ball section of the Midland Railway. Today, however, the railway is disused and the Kimberley Railway cutting is managed by Nottinghamshire Wildlife Trust as a nature reserve, being designated a site of special interest and a site of importance for nature conservation. You guys have already seen this on a previous video, but uh, not uh, that was in the daytime, so I thought I'd. Uh, it always gives a different perspective and a better perspective, I think, at night time. This is why I like to do airbexing, I prefer to do airbexing at night time most of the time. It's just, I think it gives you a better. It adds to the mystique. We're going to carry on down here as far as we can get um, because I do know it gets very oh, wet and muddy and we're already starting to come across the water. Because um, last time I was here I said I was going to 
only come here if I've got my wallies on. But uh, yeah, there is supposed to be a tunnel. I think I've said that before on the video. Or the remnants of a tunnel further down, but... Oh. 